Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So today, uh, I'm going to talk about how to do a fake long exposure. And as you can see here, I've got a shot of the CN Tower here in Toronto. And on the left is my processed photo that I took without a tripod or ND filters or anything. This kind of just happened to uh, across this spot and took a quick snap. I, I like the shot, but you know, it would look so much better if it had uh, the long exposure effect where you get the, the smoothed out clouds and the really gla uh, glass like water. So on the right, using a single effect in on one, I achieved that. Now it might be a little bit over the top and maybe not to your taste. I'm not 100% behind it, but I, I think it's a great proof of concept and something it's good to have in your toolbox for those times when you don't have a tripod or ND filters to get a nice long exposure. So let's get to it and figure out how we do this. All right, so select photo, go into develop tab. And you can see here, you know, the develop tab, I've already done a bunch of things and I, I cropped it out. And let's go into effects. There's already a couple of effects added here. And the, the key effect to get this is to use the blur filter. So we'll open up Blur, and immediately it blurs the shot. So what are we gonna do? Obviously, we're gonna mask, so we'll mask Architecture and Flora, and hit Apply. Let that run, and you can see here the CN Tower is a little bit blurred out, but I can easily fi fix that by adjusting my mask. So let's go and do that. Show the mask. And I'm gonna reduce the opacity so I can see what I'm trying to mask in here. And I've got paint out already selected. So I'm going to set my brush size and then I'm gonna hold down, I'm gonna click Hold down the shift key and the next spot that I click it will draw a straight line. And now I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm going to brush away along the edges. And because we're just doing this blur, I don't believe that it needs to be like a perfect mask. It just needs to be like cover what the main part of the body here. So, oops, undo that, uh, undo that. Just mask this in, and then I'm gonna increase the brush size and just along the edge of the CN Tower here. And then down here, I see we've got a couple of small buildings that are popping up and we don't want those blurred as well. So we'll just fix that up. Let's make this brush a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's zoom out. And okay, so over here, it thought there was uh, some foliage or flora because I use the retouch tools to get rid of some tree branches that I felt were distractions. So I'm going to paint, change this to paint in and just paint in over top of that. And then there we go. We've got our mask and we'll hide the view on that. Turn the opacity back up to a hundred. This doesn't look good, but we're going to fix that. So the key is to use the motion blur. 
And then I found upping the smoothing to around 20 or so is pretty good. And the angle, so we want to adjust the angle so it matches what our water ripples were. And just move this back and forth until you find something that looks good. And when I did this earlier, around minus three or minus four was good. And the distance, I had to ramp the distance all the way up to like 500 or so. And then drop down the opacity to about 90, 88 or so. And this is a really good approximation of a long exposure. Now, for your photos, you might need to do slightly different settings, but the key here is to use the blur filter with motion and then up the smoothing. So I can go like super smooth, but I, I just, I found that didn't really work for me. So on this shot, I wanted around 22 or so, and I'm happy with this. This is a fake long exposure. And I think it looks really, really good. So without the blur effect and with it. What I actually, I just noticed over here, there's like this gray shadow. And if I turn it off, it's the building that is getting blurred out here. So let's see if I can figure out a way to fix this. And I'm gonna do that by taking a look at my mask again. Come on, show me the mask, Control M. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask this away, but I'm not gonna mask it 100% away because it'll look weird. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the flow down to around 50 drop my opacity also maybe like 70. so what the flow does is it forces you to do more than one brush more than one brush stroke to reach the opacity of that brush so if your opacity is 100 and your flow is 100 you click once you've applied the entire brush if your opacity is 100 and your flow is, say, 50, then you have to click a few times to get up to 100% opacity. So this, this allows for more subtle brushing in of effects. So in this case, I want to brush out because I, I want to get rid of this gray background here. So I'm going to brush it in once and brush it in again. Yeah, I think that's already better. So it doesn't look like there's a, a ghost of the building there. It just looks like these gray, wispy clouds. So this is faux long exposure using On One Photo Raw. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. See you in the next video.